Are you going to try rolling some of that dough? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, I can smell it from here. It smells so gingery. Oh, no. That smells good. I'm going to give me a little gingery. Oh, he's got black hair. Look at Abby Billy. Oh, he looks so good. Oh, they look so pretty. I wonder how they're going to taste. I wonder how. Oh, he's going to be so cute. Is that a boy one or a girl one? Um, where should I put the gum drops? You know, you can make up your own mind and decide yeah. wherever you think it, they would look the best. He's got an expression on his face already. <laughs> he looks like he's saying something. Pass the m ms please. Here you go. Your gingerbread people look so good. You worked hard on them. Each one is its own little person. Do you know that there's a story about a gingerbread baby? It's called the gingerbread baby and I wrote it and I drew the pictures. Would you like to see me draw the gingerbread baby? Yeah! But first, let's put these cookies that you've decorated so nicely in the oven. Open the door and we'll put them in. Now I'm going to draw the gingerbread baby. He's got a personality. He's like a real little person. And to make that look like dough, I'm making a few little texture places around his. He looks his. happy more than mischief. He does? He well, looks then like I'm... he's kind of winking. When you draw, do you like to put detail in your drawings? Yeah. Me too. Now we've got the gingerbread baby's face and his arms, yeah. but now I'm going to start drawing the kitty. And the kitty's a little bit harder to draw, so I have to really concentrate. Now how long do you think it takes me to do one drawing? About oh, two hours. <laughs> it takes an hour just to do an inch. So I'm drawing my very quick way today. I always put borders on my books because Sometimes when I'm drawing the picture, I want to show what went on before, what went on after, or give a little hint about yeah, what's coming on next. The side. Or what's happening in a different place. Yeah. You usually do them on the sides. I do, and this one's going to be have one on the top and the sides. Looks nice. Oh, thank you. It looks like it had, it's a picture frame. Now, what kind of shape would look good in this in this border? You think a you, little? You could draw the um, gingerbread house. Oh yeah. See, I'm going to make it going kind of sideways because then it will fit the shape. And that will give a hint about what's going to happen later on in the book. And then I think we should put the mountains in because that gives it a sense of place. Because when you're doing a drawing, I want it to look believable. I want people to care about the characters. And so then all these little details, they help me make the story. So there's the mountain. It looks so real. It does? Yeah. I hear a bell. I think that the cookies are ready. Should we all go into the kitchen and see? Okay, let's follow me into the kitchen. It was cold outside. It was warm inside. A fine day for gingerbread, Maddie thought. Maddie took down a warm looking cookbook with old-fashioned writing on the cover. He opened it up to the page that said, Gingerbread Boy. They measured and mixed. Maddie rolled the dough into the shape of a gingerbread boy and they popped him in the oven. Bake a full eight minutes. No more, no less. Do not peek, the recipe said. Maddie listened to the clock. Maddie couldn't wait any longer. He opened the oven door to take a peek. Instead of a gingerbread boy, out jumped a gingerbread baby. baby. You guessed it. Look very carefully in the borders. That's where I put my extra ideas. And in the border, there's a little shape. It's shaped like a what? A gingerbread baby. Like a cookie too. And if you look inside, there's all the things you need for making gingerbread. He pranced around the big blue bowl. I am the gingerbread baby, fresh from the pan. If you want me, catch me if you can. Feeling smug, the gingerbread baby strolled along by himself until he came to a bridge that crossed into the village. Just as he got to the middle, he heard running feet behind him and saw a crowd of villagers ahead of him. 
the gingerbread baby was trapped. He jumped on the railing, he backflipped through the air, and landed on a chunk of ice floating down the river. And in the borders, there's Maddie, and he's making something out of gingerbread. And that tells the reader, you and me, about something that's going to happen later on in the story. Because what is he making out of gingerbread? Can you see? A house. Yes, that's right. And somehow that's going to be part of the story later A on. Gingerbread house. Yeah, a gingerbread house. Who was watching from the trees? Who was that watching from the trees? It was the fox. The gingerbread baby heard him and ran away as fast as he could. He couldn't believe what he saw. There in the middle of the clearing was a gingerbread house. The gingerbread baby clapped his hands with glee and ran inside. And who is looking from the border? Maddie. Maddie. In a tick-tock tick, everyone arrived in the clearing, but all they found were a few bits of frosting, a peppermint candy, and some crumbs. The father exclaimed, the gingerbread baby has finally met his match. I wonder who it was, the mother said. Let's go home and tell Maddie. But we know that Maddie already knows all about it, because there he is. He's in the border. What's he got in his arms? The gingerbread, the gingerbread house. That's the gingerbread. It was a trap. Right. It was a trap. Yeah, it was a happy trap, though, because we ha it has a very happy ending, this book. Hello, Maddie, his father said when he got home. We never did catch that gingerbread baby. All we found were some crumbs in the snow. I see you've been busy, his mother said, looking at the gingerbread house that Maddie was holding. Too bad we never caught the gingerbread baby. This is my favorite page. Only Maddie could hear the tiny voice from inside the gingerbread house. <gasps> I'm the little gingerbread baby, lucky as can be to be living in the house that Maddie made for me. Does he look happy? He is very happy. He's dancing all around. Wouldn't you love to live in a house like that? Do you think he has something to eat in there? Yeah. <laughs> he has a pretty happy ending. And you can even tell that there's frosting swirls all around the page. Those were fun to draw too. I really love that book.